Hello. We are filming a little get ready with me. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing half the time, so don't judge me if you see me doing something that you don't agree with, because I probably don't agree with it either. I have prepped my skin already, because I didn't want to look like a dry Rivita cracker. I cleansed my skin with micellar water, where is it? Here. Um, and then face oil just nourishes the skin, makes it nice and moisturised. My skin decided to give me a nice spot just for fashion week, but it's fine. Because we've got to cover that shit up. So what I'm going to do first, this is one of my favourite products from MAC. Um, strobe cream, peach light. It is, that's my favourite tone of it. Because it just gives you like a nice, oh, I just spilled some of my tracksuits. Um, gives you a nice like golden shimmer. Sometimes when I'm like not bothered to put makeup on, I just put a bit of this on. And I feel ready for the day. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. So you makeup gurus out there, don't judge me because I'm probably doing it all wrong. I'm sitting on like five million pillows right now because the mirror was way too high. It's a little on me. All right, so we're gonna rub that in. Uh, just give it that all over kind of shimmer. You can talk. Like beverage, would you like? Oh, uh, just get me vodka and uh, something. Oh. We about to get lit today. <sighs> on to the to the next one. Um, this is Hollywood Flawless Filter Charlotte Tilbury. I love this shit so much. It just gives you that like golden glow that you need. I use the light slash medium shade, and I literally like put it all over my face. <laughs> Don't really know how I meant to distribute it, but I just cover that shit. I'm just gonna look like an alien. All right, and then I take my foundation brush, Fenty, obviously, and I'm just gonna light strokes. You never wanna be heavy handed with your foundation brush, okay? You wanna do it in the same sort of direction that your hair, if it's pulled back like mine. Just do that. Okay, um, that's probably not perfect, but it's like fine, you know? Um, and then we're gonna take, this was me when I felt a little bit bougie, okay? A lot of the time I use the MAC face and body because I quite like light, silky coverage. But I was in Selfridges and I just thought, let me treat myself. I went with Giorgio Armani. And I got the Luminous Silk Foundation. Uh, what, what shade is it? Fondue Taint. I'm not gonna say that again. It's really nice, it goes on really light, and I just do about two pumps, and then I just kinda put it all over. So it just sits really nicely on top of the um, flawless filter. I have really dark circles, so I try and um, cover those up as much as I can. Okay, that's fine. I know I probably look quite oily, but I kind of like that look, you know? Dewy. Okay, so we're nearly done with our base. Put that there. For my concealer, prolong wear concealer. That's just like my go-to. I don't really switch it up because it just works for me. I get it in the MW20 shade. Um, it's just, it's nice. It doesn't really crease too much and it just goes on really well. I use one of these sort of like silicone -y chicken fillet kind of beauty blenders because I actually, I feel like you get way less waste because you can just like, it just comes off and I'm mad lazy and like I could not be bothered to like wash my fucking beauty blender like 12 times a day, I did not enjoy that. With this, give it a little wipe and it's done. I'm gonna leave this on my spot for a while because I feel like it like, I don't know if that's like correct information, but I feel like it will just sort of absorb and then it might be there anymore. <laughs> I also feel like a lot of people that know how to do makeup, they always do their eyebrows first. And to me, that is just like wizardry. I don't understand that at all. Come back in a couple of years, I might be doing it completely different. I might have 
I might I might be contouring, I might have I might have powder, I might be doing eyeshadow, I might this it might be wild. But for now, I'm gonna keep it simple. Cover my little spots and then I just do a little bit of like blending in. I think I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that my skin is being annoying. But it's fine. Just dab that on there. All right, so I think we're pretty much done with the skin. And then we're gonna take, oh no, I forgot something. Bronzer brush. Oh, Jesus. I'm actually in a better position now. Uh, I'm gonna take this bronzing powder from MAC also, matte bronze. I, don't, I can't remember the word for this, but you have to use like quite a lot because it doesn't come on really strong. So you just gotta really get involved. And what I do is I basically just like shape an E, like a big E, so it's like that. A capital E. Oops. Because we are trying to give ourselves a jawline here. We're trying our best and to reduce the size of my massive forehead, which is a difficult task, but we gotta try anyway. I literally could go on forever because I feel like I never have enough on, so I could carry on and carry on. And then it's like 20 minutes later and I'm still... I'm not gonna be doing my lashes because I've got eyelash extensions on. Could I just see if Taya lashes? See, I still feel like I don't have enough on, but I'm gonna stop because it's not gonna be very much fun for you guys. But I just gotta put it down, put it down. Okay, this is a highlight mm -hmm. stick, liquid highlight from Becca. I think Becca for highlight, like um, liquid highlight is really, really nice. Opal, I'm sort of kind of running out because I love this so much. I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna go old school here and just And then I'm going to take whatever's left on my hands and just do a little bit on the nose. So a little bit of shine there. So it's like a little bit of a highlight and adds to the dewiness. And I might put a little bit on the Cupid's bow. <laughs> yeah, and then I take my love. Honestly, anything that Rihanna does, it just like turns to gold. So I'm, I'm a big, I stand her. This is in Yacht Life. A little pink, just that it's, you don't need a lot of this because it goes on like whoa. Just do that, fingers again, and just just to give it a bit of, like a pop of colour. As you can see, like a little more, I don't know, a little more healthy looking, a little more. She's got some life in her. I literally put about five different highlighters on my face because I love highlighter, especially fancy highlighter. Oh, whoa! This one is. Hustler baby. I'm gonna take my highlighter brush, which is also a MAC one. And I'm just gonna take a little bit. Honestly, with Fenty, it's like amazing, but you don't need a lot. You're just gonna lightly just. You see that glow? Oh my God. And then you thought we were done with the highlighters? No. We gonna take another Fenty Beauty. Um, this one is cute, it's got like two, two highlighters. These are quite, these are obviously very pink. I use the, sh the chic freak. <laughs> so I'm gonna take, <laughs> put that in my mouth, bit of that, and I'm just gonna do that just to like, make sure that color really comes through. Um, cool, so that's that. I do my brows like real simple. I literally use this, nothing else. Um, it's L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Shaper in, oh uh, shit. Oh, Dark Brunette, because that's what I do. And I don't really know how I do this. I just sort of, I don't like it when they're too dark. So I just take it and I just really go light. Light strokes. See that already to me looks like a bit like, whoa. But we're gonna try and brush it out. Um, so that's one. Is that for me? <laughs> Cheers, bitch. What is it? Oh, it smells divine. Ooh! That's my favourite sound. 
ASMR for your kids. Okay, back, back to what we were doing, got very distracted. So I'm just gonna brush, brush the brows out a little bit and then I go from underneath, very lightly, bring it from there. And then I'm just gonna brush up. Cool. So that's my brows pretty much done. Remember, sisters, not twins. And then we're gonna take my stunning Fenty in um, Hustler Baby again. And I'm just gonna, can okay, I open it? Here we go. Under the brow bone, we're just gonna do this. When I speak out loud, it actually sounds like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't, but it's fine. Okay, the other one, underneath the brow bone. We gotta highlight the brow bone. And then this is my favorite little cheat. I've got like a little beauty spot here, but you can never see it. So what I do is I just take my eyebrow pencil. Oh, that was way off. And I just... <laughs> She's a different woman. Obviously I'm just doing my underneath lashes. Look how old and raggedy this fucking... I would love to tell you what it is, but I can't because it's rubbed off. I think it's Maybelline? I don't know. But if you see this in the store, it's quite good. And I'm just gonna put that underneath. Oh, voila. Pretty much there. <laughs> this is the most important part. We're about to do the lips. I've got a lip liner, MAC, in the shade Auburn. And then I've got Fenty liquid lipstick in Stunner, I think it's called. No, that was wrong. Uncensored. This is literally, honestly, the best lipstick in the fucking world. Like, you could go out, get trash, drink loads, be eating, and your lipstick will be perfect. Okay, I have to be mentally prepared for this. I go over the pupa's bow and I sort of just drive down. <gasps> I feel like I'm fucking it up already. Okay, it's not bad. Mm-hmm. The liner draws on so smoothly and just like, whew, I've got to be. I don't usually do a red lip, but like we're going out for like a nice little Parisian dinner. So I just thought, look at that, I fucked it, wait. Fine, oh my God. Let's do a bit of that. And then with this, this like, you only need a tiny bit because a little goes a long way with this. It's so satisfying though, just... When I first used this, put it on, and it got all over my teeth. I was like, oh, stunning. Once you get used to it, it is beautiful. I don't know if it's very even right now, but we're gonna just let it dry a little bit. It's not perfect, but this side is pretty good. This side went a bit, ooh, but do you know what, we're gonna... It's quite a bold red lip, but we're in Paris, so whatever. So that's basically my finished look. I'm gonna take my sort of prized accessory. Shout out Bear Grylls, London, for always hooking your girl up. I'm gonna stick it in the gob. It's quite hard to do with nails on sometimes, but. And we're done. So that is my finished look. It's not perfect, but who is? Um, I'm gonna go get fleeked up. Where's my drink? Cheers. See you brothers later.